<laughs> we should tell the host not to trouble pregnant ladies to again come forward and say got it for the recording, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I felt it like I have to go all the way in the front. <laughs> Part of the yoga, right? Okay, let's get started. Sit comfortably with your back straight. I'm in Swastikasana right now. Just in case for those who don't know Swastikasana, I'm going to revise again. In Swastikasana, we are keeping our legs apart, right? And then you can fold any one of your legs in me. Gradually, you'll get to know what is your comfort in Swastikasana. For me, when I fold my right leg, it's more comfortable. So folding the right leg in me and placing the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh, Right? This can be done with the right leg or the left leg, the first step. Then secondly, we fold slowly another leg in knee. Check the comfort. Place the foot in between the shin and calf. Like this. Okay? This is Swastikasana. If that doesn't suit you, you don't feel comfortable, just sit in the cross leg position. You can also sit in Padmasana in pregnancy. There's no harm. But if you have a pelvis pain anyway, some discomfort, then skip if you have to do it. Vajrasana also you can use in pregnancy for your meditation or for post lunch, post meals for good digestion. Let's take mudra. Today I'm taking yoni mudra. You can also take whatever mudra you like, it's your choice. Roll your shoulders, bring them down, open your chest. Close your eyes. Let's bring our awareness on the present moment. Observe the rhythmic flow of your breath flowing in and out. This is the time you can connect to your baby and repeat the resolve sankalpa for healthy, happy and safe pregnancy experience. Let's start with three rounds of Omkar together. Take a deep breath inside. rubbing your palms together, bringing the warmth of your palms on your face, opening your eyes inside the palms and gently in your hands down. Okay, we'll come into a standing position and slowly take your time. So the surface you are standing in is firm, non-slippery. Let's start with Tadasan, Tiryam Tadasan and Kati Chakrasan. Interlacing your hands together. Hip width apart, distance between your legs, feet firmly grounded on the mat. Turn your palms in the front and now up. And take a comfortable distance and slowly raise your heels off the floor. Stretch your arms up. Breathe in and exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. 
Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. And slowly bring your hands down. Take a distance between both of your legs now. Interlacing again your hands together. Turn your palms up. Stretch your arms up nicely. Now, exhale. Bend to your left side. Inhaling back to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhaling center. Exhale to the left. Inhaling center. Stretch up nicely. Exhale to the right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhaling center. And slowly bring your hands down. Relax. Roll your shoulders. Relax. Take a deep breath inside. And breathe out completely. Kati Chakrasan. Standing spinal twist. And start. Exhaling, you have to twist. So exhale, twist to your left side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. No jerky movements. No uh, compression. Just be careful. Release all the tiredness, stiffness. Visualize it. And all the tiredness, tension from your back is going out as you move your body along with, in harmony with your breathing. Keep your complete awareness on the present moment. Relax, come to a standing position again. We'll do a rope pulling action now. Make a tight fist with your hands. Visualize you have to pull a rope. And using the same strength, visualizing it, uh, along with inhalation and exhalation at your own pace, we have to straighten our arms and start pulling the rope. Any discomfort at any point, take a break, breathe, listen to your body and start again or modify whenever needed. You don't have to push or force yourself during this time. But listen to the body and do your best. And relax. We'll now do a little marching, spot, spot walking. Move your arms. Now to the left and move back. Right and back. Again, left and back. Right. Again, on the spot. Move your arms a little more now. And relax. Take a deep breath inside. And breathe out through your mouth. Once more, take a deep breath inside. And breathe out through your mouth. Let's do a right ankle stretch now with the wall. Tapping on the wall. Let your palms and shoulders be in one line. Keep width apart distance between your legs. Walk further away from the wall and make a 90 degree angle 
should look like a right angle of your body. And keep stretching your back. Very nice. Hold, breathe. And slowly release. We do some standing series now right here. Take a distance between both of your legs. Comfortable distance, at least around three, three and a half feet distance. Okay. Now turn your right foot to the right side. Turn your left foot slightly inside for the balance. Your hip is facing forward still. So place your hand on your waist to check that. It has gone a little to the right. Bring it back to the center. Okay. Now here if you need to, you can increase the distance a little more. And then bend your right leg in knee at an angle where ideally the knee comes quite parallel to the floor. At least try a little bit, little more. It should not be so high, otherwise you won't get the benefit. At least try your best to close to 90 degree angle. Now rest your right forearm on the thigh without compressing your abdomen. Open your chest now. Your feet is firmly grounded. And now slowly, either you keep your hand here or you can raise your arm either this way or over the head. Hold the position and breathe. We are doing a triangle pose variation, Trikonasan. Let's hold it for five seconds more. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly breathe. Turn the foot in, make sure you're well balanced. Do all the transitions very slowly. Now turn your left foot to the left side. Turn the right foot slightly inside. Hip facing forward, chest facing forward. Now fold your left leg in knee. Adjust the distance here. Maybe you want to stretch a little more to get this angle right. Uh, Somewhere you can increase the distance since you are taller. You will feel better when you increase the distance. Now rest your left forearm on your thigh. Without compressing this part, we are opening first. Bring your hand here, open your chest. Open, open, very good. And now bring your hand up or in line with the ear. Hold and breathe. Very good, let's hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Very relax. Slightly bring your legs closer. Take a deep breath inside and breathe out completely. Once more, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. We are going to do one asana called as Mridanga Band. We are going to visualize as if we are playing a Mridanga in a standing position in a squatting way. So here, make sure you are well balanced on the surface wherever you are standing. You have to slightly turn your foot to outside now like this, like a Bharatnatyam dancers. Okay. So make sure you are well balanced. Then we have to bring our Fold our arms in elbows and elbows are stuck to the side of the waist and then we have to bend and hold this. So here, most likely for balancing, my body is going to go forward, but then I'm not going to get any strength here. You have to make sure that you lean, you don't lean your body in the front, you try to maintain it as to the center as possible. So let's go down. Hold it, very good. Go down a little more. Five, four, 
Three, two, one. Relax. Very good. Ah, Namrata. <laughs> Slowly. Okay. This is very important. Strengthening this part is the most beneficial part. This is going to help us in our labors. <laughs> because Namrata has loved this asana, we will do it once more. <laughs> Only for you. <laughs> Dedicating it to you. You should have seen her reaction. I'm seeing all of you, so I know. <laughs> She was like almost miserable in the <laughs> Okay, let's hold it. Now make sure you're not going forward. Maintain the line and go down. Very good. Hold it. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Take a deep breath inside. And breathe out. Again, take a deep breath in and relax. Okay, we're just going to do some arm mobility movement and chest opening. So we're going to move our arms in three different directions, starting from the lowest. So you're going to bring your arms in the front and then back, simple. Now from here, let's change the angle to the shoulder line. This is very good practice. When we start to feel a little breathlessness in the advancing uh, trimesters. Keep breathing nicely here. And the third one. We, show, we make sure you don't get a lot of tension here, very mildly. Okay, and relax. Sit back on the mat. Deep breath inside and breathe out completely. Once more, take a deep breath in and okay. we'll just start with simple toes, toe movement, ankle movement, and then go for shoulder. Okay, so in the same sitting position. Catch the legs apart. Keep the apart distance between your legs. Only your toes now. Stretch your toes, tramping back. Keep your complete awareness on your toes. Now, ankle stretch. Stretch your ankle, stretch your toes in the front and back. This time, you bring the ankle joint out. This is very good practice, again, for uh, water retention, edema, swelling that we have on the feet in pregnancy. So to avoid that, if you don't have to avoid it, this can be done. Stretch nicely in the front. And then now do a rotation of your ankles. Both the ankles, ankle rotation. Can you still hear me? I started raining here, but I hope you can hear me with all the sound around. Once done, relax. You can either sit in the same way or you can sit in a cross leg position. Let's do something with the fingers. 
make a tight fist and then open. Make a tight fist with your hands. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, and open. Okay. Now, bring your arms to the sides and lift your shoulders up to your ears, please. And exhale down. Pull them down. Rest your palms down. Pull them down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Relax. Now, just with one side of the shoulder, place your fingertips on one shoulder and start the rotation. Inhale and open, exhale and up. Inhale, open, exhale, down and up. Reverse. Relax and swapping over to the other side now. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse. One, use your full range of motion to breathe with the movement. Three, Four, five, and six. Interlace your hands together. Place your palms above your neck. Exhaling, close, round your back, tuck your chin to the chest. Inhaling, open. Exhaling, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open and slowly return. Neck movements, tuck your chin to the chest. Center. Roll your head back. Center. Bend your neck to the left side. Center. To the right. Center. Tuck your chin to the chest. Center. Roll your head back. Center. Bend your neck to the left side. Center. To the right. And center. Neck rotation, tuck your chin to the chest. Start the rotation from the left. And back. To the right. 
and down right back left down again left back right down right back left down and center now raise your left arm up lengthen the side go tall as much as you can now rest your right palm on the right side and slowly go for the side bend hold the position and breathe Inhaling back to the center, lengthen your spine, go tall, and exhaling slowly. Lower down your arms on the side as you breathe out. Now again, deep inhale, raise your other arm up, the right arm, lengthen the right side, feel the stretch on the side of your back. Now rest your left palm forearm on the ground and bend to the other side. Keep your right chest open. Look forward or look up. The ceiling. Hold and breathe. Inhaling, come back to the center. Exhaling down once more. Left arm up. Lend to the left side. And bend. Hold and breathe. Inhaling back to the center. Exhaling down. Inhale, raise the right arm up, lengthen the right side. Exhale. Inhale back to the center, slowly. Exhale. Twist. Place the left arm up, lengthen the left side. Place the left palm on the right knee and look over the right shoulder. Resting the right palm behind your hip. Slowly release the posture. Now raising the right arm up, lengthen the right side, feel the stretch. Place the right palm on the left knee, look over the left.
Now take a distance between both of your legs. Okay. Now you don't have to bring compression. You just have to go forward. Lengthen your spine. So with your fingertips, grab wherever you can. Either your toes or your shin, wherever you need, and go up. So make sure we don't want to compress here, but we want to feel the stretch on the hamstring. Hold and breathe. We all get a stretch on the hamstring, yes? Hold it, few seconds more, breathe. Okay, and slowly. Okay, now maintain the same position. Hold your right leg in knee. Now, if you can slowly bring the left leg more to the left side, if possible, don't do Otherwise, let it be. Now, rest your left arm wherever it reaches to the toe, ankle, shin. And then slowly raise your other hand up and go to the side. Now straighten your one leg from here, the right leg, straighten it. Now you're going to lift your left leg up with the help of your hands like this. Try to make and hold the foot, grabbing it like this and supporting the back side of the knee. And this is going to keep open. Long interviewee is open. Very gently, put some movements, just a nice mobility. No compression of the abdomen. Relax and take the left leg to the right leg. Thank you. 
Okay, coming to a tabletop position. Arms in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. Inhaling, arch your back. Exhaling, down to your back. Then inhaling out your back. Exhaling out your back. Inhaling out your back. Exhaling down your back. Roll your shoulders, bring them down, relax, open your chest, take any mudra of your choice, prana mudra, dhyana mudra, or yoga mudra. 
We will just do a few rounds of simple deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. This way, like a bow, like a whistle. Not making any sound, just breathing out nice. So we're going to inhale deeply through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Inhale to the nostrils and breathe out to the mouth. Inhale, exhale. Inhale deeply, exhale. Inhale deeply, keep your back straight, and exhale. Inhale deeply, and exhale. Inhale deeply, and exhale to your mouth. Inhale deeply to your nose and breathe out to your mouth. Inhale deeply and breathe out. Relax. And you open your eyes. Now we will do an energizing breathing. This is where we are going to again breathe out to the mouth only, but in a dynamic way, along with the arm movements. So it's something like this. I will show you once. I'm breathing in when my arms are going up, and I'm breathing out with my mouth when the arms are swinging back. Something like this. Got it? I am doing nothing here forcefully with my abdomen or troubling it or feeling suffocated. I'm just easily energizing my nostrils and the chest region and arms. For more prana in the body. Okay, let's begin. So you can make a fist, a gentle light fist when you swing back. That will naturally give you the momentum to breathe in and out. Do nothing with your belly. Don't suck the belly in. Don't move. Just chest, nose, and abs. Let's take a break. You might feel slightly dizzy, which is normal after this breath because it's an energizing breath. So close your eyes and relax. Deep breaths. Okay, relax. Let's do one more round of this breath. Bringing the arms up and back. Okay, exhale. Again, close your eyes, relax, just take deep breaths.
Gently open your eyes and let's get ready for Anulom Vilom alternate master breathing. Uh, we have been doing four and four, right? Or in this batch, inhaling four, exhaling four. But let's try if it is possible for you today, only if possible, you can see for yourself. Inhaling four and exhaling six for more relaxation response and better oxygen and gaseous exchange in the body is always better ratio recommended. However, you have to see your comfort. So we will try today inhaling four and exhaling six. Again, inhaling four, exhaling six. Okay. So before we start, close your eyes, bring your awareness back to your breath. Now let's begin closing the right nostril with the thumb. Always doing the mudra with your right hand. Now let's inhale to the left. One, two, three, four. Right exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right inhale. One, two, three, four. Left exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Left inhale, one, two, three, four. Right exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Continue on your own for a few seconds. Complete awareness on your breath. Use your visualization here as you inhale and exhale. Visualize that all the positive prana is coming from the surrounding as you inhale and it's permeating through every cell to your womb, nourishing you, your energy and your baby. And every time you exhale, visualize that you're releasing all the negativity, discomfort, any illness, pain out from the body and the mind. Every inhalation and exhalation, use this visualization. With every inhalation, you empower yourself by saying that the divine power is already inside of your body, nourishing, sustaining and growing this baby and is going to help you during our final stages of labor as well. Nourish yourself, your body, your mind with all the positivity as you breathe in. Continue a few seconds more, even if your hands pain, you take a small break and then start again. This practice is very important to be done frequently.
Now slowly exhale through your left nostril and then finish your lungs. Relax your shoulders, relax your knees, relax your face. Now again, feeling mudra of your choice for Brahmari Pranayam. Inhaling through both the nostrils. Well, anybody having acidity or uh, chest burn, heart burn because of the pregnancy, uh, you can do a nice combination of Shitali and Brahmari together. So, Shikali Pranayam is where you suck the cool air in by making a round shape of your tongue like this. So, Shikali is always inhalation and then exhalation is normal, but we can combine the two. You can breathe in in Shikali and breathe out in Bhamari. You can also do that if you like. Asamya, you understood? Shikali Pranayam. Because others I know, they already know the practice from previous classes. Okay. So you can, it's up to you. Either you just do Brahmari if needed. If needed, if you like some cooling effect in the body, if you have acidity issues frequently in pregnancy, you can combine the both. For Brahmari, if you want, you can also place your palms on your belly. Have a nice sound vibrations. There are different sound vibrations here right now. Placing your palms on the belly. Devi is very happy in Shiri, looks like. Some Devi power I can feel with this thundering storm here. Let's begin 11 rounds. Please count on your own. Whenever you are done with your rounds, you 
can lie down for relaxation in side shavasana or taking the bolster whichever way you are comfortable you can lie down You can place a pillow between your knees, under your head, wherever you feel comfortable. Now, step by step, taking your awareness to each body part one by one and relaxing that part completely. Bring your awareness onto your toes, heels, ankles, relaxed, shin, ha. Uh, Knees relaxed, eyes, hips relaxed. Abdomen, chest. Relaxed. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Relaxed. Arms, shoulders. Neck relaxed, back of the head, top of the head, whole head. Relaxed. All the facial muscles are relaxed. From the tip of your toes to the top of your head, your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Your whole body is relaxed. Visualize for yourself that you are going deeper and deeper into your relaxation. You are going deeper and deeper into your relaxation. You are relaxing your breath, relaxing your mind, relax, relax, relax. Now we will focus on some positive affirmations for healthy, happy pregnancy and for the baby. Visualize as if you're writing these affirmations on the piece of blackboard 
or you can mentally repeat or just hear and feel them. I am loving to eat all the nourishing food and my baby is getting all the nourishment from everything that I do, right from my food to my thoughts. My baby is developing perfectly inside of me. My body is wonderfully designed to give birth. It has all the knowledge, wisdom, and power. Women have been doing this for millennia. And I feel empowered and fortunate to be chosen to become a mother. May this baby be strong, healthy, always happy, and be overcome, and be able to overcome all the obstacles of life. May this baby be inspiring oneself and others in the world. May this baby become an instrument in the hands of Lord to serve the humanity. May this baby be gifted with all the divine spiritual qualities of tolerance, patience, love, compassion, and kindness. May this pregnancy be a healthy and happy experience for me and the baby. With this resolve, with these affirmations in our mind, in our heart, now prepare yourself to slowly release Shavasan. Fill your toes, fingers, take your time with the support of your hand, coming up to a seated position slowly. We will chant three rounds of Umkar, followed by one Shanti Mantra together. Again, sitting straight, any mudra of your choice. Take a deep breath inside and together. Oh. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Gently rubbing your palms together. Bringing the warmth of your palms on your face. Again, gently rubbing your palms together and placing the warmth of your palms on the belly. Giving all the nice positive prana to your womb, all the after effects of your wonderful practice to your baby. And once again, praying for the healthy, happy and safe pregnancy experience for you and Gently open your eyes. Thank you very much. Hope you all are well. Take care. Uh, we posted some recordings so you can practice in your free days as well. The more often you practice, the better it is. See you all tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yes, I have a question. Question. yes. Thank you.
मुझे आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू आस समाइम्स इट हैपन्स इन नॉर्मल डिलीवरी दैट द पोजिशन ऑफ द बेबी इज नॉट राइट समाइम्स द शोल्डर इज डाउन और सम अदर पोजिशन आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ दिस इज द राइट क्वेश्चन और नॉट बट ब्रीच बेबी और समथिंग so the head should be down but um, can you give us some tips or you know in the coming session if not today uh, okay. anything that you you can suggest how the head should be down and not any other body part because uh, i have heard this a lot and i'm since i'm almost reaching the last stage so uh, these questions just pop up with my i don't know if i'm too anxious so or too so are constantly going on <laughs> okay i don't know what do you mostly walking helps a lot lot of walking that's the best thing to get the baby in the position i have heard about it i have not experienced it nor i have seen someone doing in front of my eyes but they say that acu pressure uh if it's a good acu pressure guy girl can really help you also to do so so if you have something trustworthy around you you can try it out it's safe if it's it's of course safe i have heard from my teachers doing it so uh, that is one thing but what i have heard the most is movement exercise and lot of walking lots and lots of walking this madhav was born normally and devash was born normally and didi did a lot of walking she could not do yoga but she did a lot of walking that i know but i was still think uh, because when i walk these days if i walk for half an hour of course then i start feeling very heavy you know Can, in the low yeah, part yeah so you need to break you need to take a break always even for walks so walk for some time take a break again then second span third span like that Okay, but this I is normal think, with everybody, na. Everybody starts feeling heavy during the walk. Yes, yes. I am feeling heavy, right? I mean, I was just uh, thinking of myself. I'm not even still. I have just started my seventh month, and I already feel heavy while walking nowadays. The way yeah. I used to walk in my second trimester was super cool, but now I am like okay, little slowly, and you know, I can't walk so much. I feel pressure under my near the pelvic region <laughs> on one yeah. side or the both the sides. So it's normal. Sometimes I, so I feel like आज ही हो जाएगा क्या इट्स सो हेवी बट नाउ स्पेशली यू नो द माइंड ऑल्सो टेक्स लॉट ऑफ यू नो टोल स्पेशली वेन द डेट इज क्लोजर आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू हियर सम पॉजिटिव अपरमेशन देर आर लॉट्स अवेलेबल ऑन द यूट्यूब सो ट्राई टू कनेक्ट टू सम रिलैक्सेशन की ब्रीदिंग इन एन आउट And, Can you uh, also forward me some links that you are hearing, maybe? I, or... Okay, I will forward you the yoga nidra I recently recorded. I hope it is edited and it comes out before your pregnancy. <laughs> please, but please. But otherwise, I'll try to send something else also, so which yes, is yes. close to labor. Keep hearing it. Be positive. Just everything mm-hmm. is going to be super fine. Just think like that, and it's right surely now, going to be. <laughs> right now, I'm just reading Krishna book very loudly so that you know it goes into my ears and the baby. Breathing also. out through your mouth, reading, positive. Just think positive. Just think positive. That's the only thing when you will feel nice. Everything will be perfect at the right time. The moment That's I go to bed, I start getting all those thoughts. Okay, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Yeah, it happens. It's very normal. I feel I am yet to go through that phase, but I'm sure even being a yoga teacher, I'm myself going to freak out a little bit <laughs> when the day is closer. So, <laughs> what is your due date? It's thirtieth November, but I'm thinking that it can happen any time ah. during November. Okay, so thirtieth November, na? Yeah. Yeah. Are you freaking out? Wait, you are freaking out too early. <laughs> I will start my ninth one somewhere uh, in on twenty first of this month. I thought your labor is going to be like any day, any week now. No, no, like no, 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 no. It's my eighth month. Ah, <laughs> oh, you have a lot of time to work. Don't worry about the positioning. It will be fine. Just keep walking. Be active. Yeah. I thought it's very close. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that close. I still have one and a half months to go. Ah. But yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Just stay active, happy, positive. do some activity if you like drawing mandala coloring keep doing that reading just keep yourself happily engaged <laughs> definitely definitely okay thank you thank you so much okay bye everyone bye namrata bye thank bye. you bye thank you bye bye thank you bye